this is heifer calving season. I see one back here flopping around. She's probably having a baby or she could be dying having a baby. I don't know yet. Okay, she sat up, so maybe she's maybe she's just having one. I just want to see if she needs help. I don't want to fly up on her too close though. We're definitely having a baby. Okay, we're in the right position, that's good. That's first thing is fill, make sure that head is there and I feel the nose, I feel the tongue. It's alive, so that's good. So it, she stick, needs to probably out. stand up or we can let her out. Let's see if I can't grab these little feet are right here. See if I can't grab them. She's gonna have to help me push though. Okay, there's a foot. There's two in here, you just on your own she's not helping you. It comes out so far, the umbilical cord breaks, you gotta get it out and suffocates. Right. I feel one foot. The problem is I don't feel the other one. It's probably tucked up under it. Find that foot, determine if you feel like it's left or right, and then just basically like go down beside it and try to pull that foot out from under it carefully so you don't rip anything. Oh, yes. well, he might have just got it. He got the leg back. Okay, okay. Uh, All right, now we're going to Right. Pull. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, right, one of them was, like, stuck backwards. Let me come in there. But one of them was forward. There, move. Okay, they're going to try to get it. Of course, while the kids went to get a chain, he was born. He's alive. It's a big old beautiful bull. It's worth getting nasty over. So now we got to get it around to her head so she can smell it. We got to get her head out of here, but I was by myself and I'm about to pass out. So. Hey, baby. Thank you. 
was quite unexpected. I apologize that Lane is half clothed and for if we sounded stressed talking to each other, it was stressful. It was very stressful, but it turned out really good. Sometimes it doesn't. So as some of you know, Lane is in college right now majoring in agri. So he's actually in animal science classes. He just learned about if cows or heifers, either one are having trouble, how to fix it in utero and then hopefully have a better result. And you can see that has already come in handy today. I knew exactly what was wrong just from experience that that front leg was backwards, but honestly, I didn't think about trying to fix it in the past. We've just had to pull them and it's hard on the heifer or the cow. So that was awesome. I don't know if he had not been able to pull that foot out because calves come out with both feet and then their little head laying like this. A lot of times the first thing you'll see is two little hooves and like the nose and mouth. Um, I don't know if he hadn't fixed it. I, I really don't think she'd have been able to deliver that because I think she'd already been in labor a bit and probably swelling in there. It was very tight when I was putting my hand in there trying to, um, you know, ease ease it for her and help it to slide on out. It was very, very tight. My arms are literal jello right now, and I know Lane's are too. His are cramping, and that's just like a mega, mega workout because for one, you got adrenaline flowing, and plus it's just flat out hard. But we are so blessed and thankful. Um, if you've been around here for a while, you know that that is a result of some heifers we AI'd back in December of last year and so now they're in a fall calving season. So these are first time heifers. Um, a lot of times heifers are also called heifers until they've had their second calf and then they are called a cow. But these are literal first timers. You're not guaranteed, you know, real good results from that. Uh, you're gonna lose a few. It's just the statistics, but so far, we have 22 of them, I believe, and so far we've had six calves and all of them are alive. So excited about that. One other thing I wanna mention, I'm gonna show you the last thing we're gonna do back here today. Uh, we come back here every day, a lot of times, multiple times, checking on these because it's a tight calving window. So we know that they're calving and if they don't, um, that means they didn't take, but a lot of them are gonna be calving in a short time frame. But one thing I wanna mention, we, AI'd all of those to a South Pole bull. That is the type of bull we wanted mixed in. So these are gonna be half South Pole. Some of them are full South Pole because the heifers are South Pole also. If you're not familiar with South Poles, we have videos on that and why we like them and what they are. But also I wanna mention, we AI'd four of them to a Wagyu bull. And really, really we're hoping that at least one, hopefully some of those took, and it was really, really looking doubtful but we came back here this morning to an awesome, awesome surprise. One of them has calved, so she didn't have any trouble. We're going back here to take a look at it, um, see if it's a bull or a heifer, and um, tag it. So I'm gonna give you the first glimpse. So we picked the four heifers we liked the most. We did not pick the South Poles, obviously, because we wanted them bred to a South Pole, but we picked four others. And so this is one of them. I'm gonna warn you guys before I turn the camera around, she has delivered it and she is eating her afterbirth right now. That is just nature, guys. That is, um, has things that um, can help her as well as that keeps predators away from her baby. So if that grosses you out, just beware. See what it is for me? It's a bull. It's a little bubby. What a day. I'm so excited that this turned out good. I think I'm gonna go get some clean clothes on, wash up a bit, and um, I've got pigs to feed and all kinds of stuff. Might do that first before I get cleaned up, but 
thanks for coming along. Really was coming back here to film a video for you guys on Johnson grass and some hidden dangers on your farm this time of year. But life has a way of making other plans. So this is one of those days. So I'll have that video coming up in the next few videos, but just thankful for new life. New life um, on the farm of animals, new life of people, just new life in general. It's such a miracle every single time. See you guys later. Thanks for watching and God bless.